Now that we have a good understanding of the requirements, let's do a little product planning based on the requirements. Here is the overview of our development process. We are now in the planning activity. But first, let's create a Spring Boot project in IntelliJ, then create a repository on the GitHub and push our Spring Boot project to the GitHub. Let's create a new project using Spring Initializer. The name is Hogwarts Artifacts Online. It is a Maven project. And for group ID, let's change it to edu.tcu.cs. This is the artifact ID. This is the package name. Make sure you use JDK 17 or above. Java 17. Packaging is jar. And click next. For product dependencies, first make sure you pick Spring Boot 3.0 or above. And then for dependencies, let's make sure we pick Spring Boot DevTools. Since we're developing a web application, let's click Spring Web. We're also going to use a database. So let's pick Spring Data JPA and also H2 database. H2 is a small in-memory database, primarily for development purpose. So you don't have to mess up with installing MySQL or Postgres during development. This really speeds up our development. Later on, when our project is production ready, we can easily switch to a beefy database like MySQL, Postgres, or Oracle. H2 also provides a simple console that lets us access the SQL database using a browser interface. So it's pretty good. As you can see here, Spring Boot supports all mainstream relational databases. We're not picking security at this moment. Later on, we're going to manually edit through palm.xml. OK, so make sure you have the four dependencies. Then create. OK, the project is created. Let's take a look at the Maven dependencies. As you can see, here we got DevTools, Starter Web, Starter Data GPA, and also Starter Test. Now, if this is not showing up, just click the Reload button. OK, just click here. Next, let's go to GitHub and create a GitHub repository for this project. I have logged into my GitHub account. Let's create a new repo for our Spring Boot project. The repository name is Hogwarts Artifacts Online. Optionally, you can give a description to your repository, but here I'm going to leave it blank. I make my repository public, and everything else looks pretty good. So let's create this repository. Okay, let's copy the first line here. We're going to create a readme.md file under our Spring Boot project. Next, let me toggle over to IntelliJ. Right now, this is an empty Spring Boot project. But first, let's create a readme.md file under this project. 
it is highly recommended to create one so people can quickly learn the details of your project. How? IntelliJ has an embedded terminal emulator. It's right here. We just copied the command to create a readme.md file. So let's paste here and press enter. As you can see, now we have a readme.md file. Feel free to write any descriptions here so people can have a better understanding of what this project is about. Next, let's make our project directory a Git repository. Let's check the status. As you can see, now there are untracked files in this project. So let's track them all. Git add all. Git status again. Now we have tracked all of them. Clear. Next, let's make our first commit. Git commit. This is the first commit. Git status. Nothing to commit. Working tree clean. Next, let's rename the default branch to main branch. Git branch dash m main. As you can see, now we're on main branch. At this point, everything is done locally. We haven't connected to a remote repository. Next, let's add a remote repository. Let's toggle over to GitHub and copy this. Copy. For me, I'm using HTTPS to connect to GitHub. In this case, you will need to generate a GitHub personal access token. You also have the option to connect to GitHub using SSH. Both are OK. But here, I'm using HTTPS. Make sure you copy the right URL here. Paste. Now that we have added a remote repository with name origin, let's push the local main branch to GitHub. The first time you push a branch, you should use dash u to set an upstream, now in this case called origin. So let's push it to origin's main branch. Git push dash u. This is setting an upstream origin main. Press enter. As you can see, we have successfully pushed our local main branch to the remote main branch. The branch main set up to track origin slash main. That's clear. Git set us. We're on branch main. Your branch is up to date with origin slash main. Nothing to commit, working tree clean. OK, good. Next, let's list all the branches. Git branch dash dash all. This command shows the local and the remote branches. As you can see, we're now on local main branch. The red one is the main branch on the remote repo. Now let's toggle over to GitHub. Refresh. As you can see, we have successfully pushed our Spring Boot project to GitHub repository. And here is the readme.md file. 